Yo, what's up guys? So I'm here with Sammy with Tri-State. This is Sammy, this is my guy. This is, I would call him my boy, <laughs> but he's not a boy, he's a man and I don't say boy. But, and, 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 and also another thing too, Sammy's a boxer, professional boxer. I'm gonna try to link your no, stuff. No, I'm not a professional. I uh, boxed in the future. Uh, I'm past. In the past, future. And but my kid is boxing but right now. But isn't your kid going professional? Yeah, but he, he's yeah. going to go out to uh, the regionals uh, on the 17th, 17, 18, do 19. Do do uh, do look, look, look. Mother God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy don't know this, but when I first started in business, I asked a lot of questions to Sammy's boss, who's the owner of Tri-State. Tri-State hauls in Philadelphia. They haul, haul in all the counties, but they're based out of Philadelphia. Sammy is like one of the professional, and he has his own channel. I'm gonna link Sammy's channel, some of what Sammy does, some crazy stuff in Philadelphia. Guys, listen, I never wanna haul in Philadelphia. I'm completely happy with hauling in the, the suburbs, because what they gotta go through in the city is crazy, it's like another world. We're gonna go over the difference between the hook truck, and we're gonna go over the difference between the hook truck and the cable truck. So we're gonna see, show you some key differences. Sammy's going to operate his truck i'm going to go over i'll operate my truck i'll show you guys what's going on and then we're gonna we're gonna do a, a comparison this isn't a versus video because both trucks are completely completely uh, capable trucks we're leaving roll-offs they're always going to be running roll-offs probably i'm gonna i'm changing over to all hook trucks just because that's the way in the direction we're going um i just like them better Tri-State loves the roll-offs. I like the roll-offs. Honestly, they're strong. They're workhorses. They've been around forever. So we're here to show that, we're just here to show the differences. Both trucks, 100% capable. It's what makes you feel comfortable. We like the hook trucks. They roll the cable hoist. Sammy's an expert. I couldn't do half the stuff he does on a cable. Some of the stuff he does in one day, I don't do my whole lifetime. <laughs> so let's check it out. The big difference is a hook lift is just what that is. It's a hook lift truck. It raises with a hook. So I'm gonna show you some key features of the hook truck that, um, that you'd wanna know if you're gonna operate a hook truck. So these are just um, merely stops that when the dumpster comes down, it, um, it rests on these stops. You've got the toolbox and your battery box and your two air tanks. This is a, um, a Kenworth T880 with a 15 liter um cummings engine we'll pop the hood in a minute on the pal finger there's a pal finger t50 um adjustable hook so you can go between a 54 that's the set is lowest setting um, i don't i only have 54 inch hooks but if you see these two pins you would take these two pins out and you can raise the hook up i believe it's a 62 inch or 64 inch these lockdowns right here these are called lockers we actually had to have them extended um, they did stop here we had them extended because our dumpsters were made for another truck so when these lockers come underneath they weren't going forward enough so we had they actually took this locker it used to be here and they moved it back to here and the reason they did that is because the way our dumpsters were set up we had to move these so this this rig is altered a little bit just for ours but if you would buy a t50 hook truck you would just have the lockers back here and these are extra um you know hold downs or i'm sorry um feet or stanchions in case that dumpster would come forward it would hit here and not fall into the frame and i'll explain that these would be the um I'll call them, uh, you know, trolley rollers or, or rollers. So when the dumpster comes up, it will rest on here. And what happens is this will, um, this will flex exactly right, Sam. And then it, you'll have two rollers. Instead of having one roller, the reason they do that is because some dumpsters, um, the, the rails, if you just have one roller, it won't disperse the weight. So if you have one roller, all the weight will go on one and it can distort your, your dumpsters. So with two rollers, you have a better chance and you can pick up heavier dumpsters and it won't distort the, the rails of your dumpsters. One of the key differences a lot of people will get a hook truck for is because they can put a pintle hook on it. If you wanted to haul something, it, it would be a little bit more um, a little bit more difficult because you have no place to really hook up a pintle hook and they're really not generally set up to haul. 
but on a on a on a hook truck it's a lot um easier because they have this three quarter inch or one inch plate and look how thick this plate is um from pal finger so there's a one inch plate and then you could put you know you could haul probably a hundred thousand pounds off of that bumper and that welds if you notice it's welded right to the frame so you have a, a weld right to the frame and then they have gussets back here right here and that's what make it stronger they gusset it up there's the air brake lines for the glad hands that's for a trailer and then you got your electric your electric hookup just like a roll off you have your um you have your straps now on these you don't need these sammy because you have the wings have on there the wings. so dot you're okay you don't need to use these but the reason we have them emergency, emergency um maybe one of the cans the wing breaks off or or let's say a do cop isn't happy i've actually had do cops dot cops tell me they don't like that actually snap off. right they, they 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 say you know what i don't like it so they said have these as backup, have strap as a backup. even though it's not required they like to see it so i had them put these on the chamblers 46,000 pound rears now guys the reason i got a um a 15 liter on this truck is because i'm going to be hauling a excavator a 30,000 pound excavator so we're gonna we're gonna use this to haul and that's why we got this one built a little bit beefier and that's why i got the pintle hook on it because i want to haul a, a 40,000 pound trailer we got a camera system on it now if you got we got a camera here and the reason i put a camera here guys is so i can confirm that my lockers are engaged you know that the, that the dumpsters under the lockers the reason i did this is is because we're the only truck that has a altered locker system like this so i did this so i can make sure all my dumpsters are working that's, at least at first that's, that's you know that's, you, that's, you know that's, that's really so that's why i don't like have that. to get out and i have the monitor inside then we got the um the hydraulic tank now i noticed one thing about the hydraulic tank it seems like they're making the hydro yeah they're, they're making the hydraulic tank small say i don't know if it, it maybe it's mine we could check yeah look at their hydraulic tank there probably the hydraulic system you talk about the the cylinders i don't know i don't know the cylinders are just as big here so i don't maybe they realize they don't need right it's this is a lighter duty tank i noticed than yours i don't know why it's different now i will i do know this that the pal fingers are not manufactured in the united states they're actually manufactured in france or somewhere and they ship them over as units so maybe that's how they do it i don't know and then obviously you got a hundred gallon tank and then you have your def tank for your diesel exhaust fluid do you have electric torque sammy uh no i got you have a hydraulic yeah let's show the difference so on the electric tarp there's an electric motor that runs it and then there's an electrical box that controls it and then you have an extra auxiliary hydraulic tank and that raises and lowers the gantry so you don't need the hydraulic that's just to raise that's for this line to raise and lower the gantry but the tarp is electric that doesn't need hydraulic you the remote for it? Like i have remote that's yeah i have remote yeah i have remote i don't ever use it because i like to be outside when yeah, i'm it's using it see it's good to see it, yeah I, you know i just never use it i don't know why sammy i just never do that's a nice system nice setup what i want to do is i want to keep it a um the hook truck um compared to a cable hoist i'll pop the hood on both engines just to check them out but let's take your let's take your dumpster off yes, sir. and then let's watch how he what he does to take it off now when we pull up to a job um we don't have to unstrap anything now if you'll notice sammy's gonna have to unstrap his dumpster yes, sir. i just gotta walk around around the other side get my uh get my pole to uh Release. oh yeah you you use the pole and everything see i don't ever do it strap them down. i don't do it savvy so I, we have an auto auto locker system okay. so he's going to use a pole now on our dumpster on the on the hook truck it's done automatically um so there's no unstrapping because when that gets locked in there's it goes underneath those lockers and that's a dot um that's legal for dot but like i said you can go ahead unstrap it we're just gonna get ready for you to take it off I, do. I, I hook it up here. A lot of people leave it hanging. I don't leave it hanging. I don't like that. I don't like leaving it hanging because sometimes, I, with my learning experience, I dropped it. I lift up the boomer. Next thing you know, the, the hook on, yeah. got caught on here. And this is this is what happens when when hooks are hanging. But what I do is I learn a new method. I grab it and I hook it here ah, and I strap it you down. You taught me something. And, and it's not going nowhere. You just taught me something now. See all this? This is. 
you know, learning experience. There's a tough situation it's on uh, dropping cans, picking up cans, and a lot of people think it's easy, and it's not, man. Uh, dumping ain't easy, like they say. You know, it's not easy. A lot of people think it's a piece of cake. Get, get on the truck, and let's go down the road. You don't know the aftermath you gotta deal with. You gotta track the trailer cans back between two parkings, between two cars. Uh, you got a some a tough street. South Philly is the worst, but the job got to get done. And you know we go down safely, to safely, Philly. safely, safely. That's what he's trying to say. Yeah, safely, the job got to get done. We got to get down, down to South Philly. You know, be careful with the cars. It's, it's, everything is tight, and the city, the city, the city is real tough. Uh, you got a lot of pedestrians. Uh, they could be with your blinkers, ready to drop a can. They don't care. They just walk right in front of you. They don't care. What he goes through, guys, in one day, I'll go through a whole year. Yeah. Like, people walking in front of them, cars, Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, people jumping in front of you. Just crazy in the city. I mean, it's, it's, it's very hard, man. A lot of people don't know, man. Suburb work is Parking, easiest. you can't even get out and go knock on the guy's door because you're gonna get a parking ticket. Now, if you notice, guys, you're, he's gonna lift it up, and then the um, gravity will, when he lets it out, will pull it off. On a hook truck, it actually is doing it with force. So the the hook truck will actually push a dumpster in. When a roll off comes off, it's actually just like it says, it's rolling off. But a hook truck will actually take it off with force. So his is coming off by gravity. On a hook truck, if I took that off, I could through I could shove it through a guy's garage and never know it. With his, if it hits something, it'll gingerly just stop. And then he'll lift up his his boom a little higher. And then if you notice under here, This tail has to go all the way down to the ground before he can roll it off. Otherwise, that'll come off and bang on the ground. So he's gonna lift it, he's gonna put the tail all the way down until it rolls off nice and easy. That's why they call it a roll off. Now he's gonna take it off. Look how gingerly it comes off a roll off. Easy breezy, guys. This is as easy as it gets. This is why it never ever can hurt a driveway. I'm gonna take his cable off for him. I just took the cable off the, ho the hook for him. Now he's gonna move forward, Matt, so just be careful. Move forward a little. Now look, guys, if you notice, see how high his hook is? He's about, what do you think that is? 18 feet in the air, maybe? I don't know. He's gonna bring it down, and then we're gonna go over, um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna bring it all the way down, I'm gonna leave it up a little bit, and then we're gonna go over some things that, now they have the telescopic um, cylinders, which means that they come out like they telescope out. Um, they either have that or they have the uh, cylinders that they don't telescope, they're just in and out. The cylinders are longer. Um, I particularly don't care whether they're telescoping or not. Some people have preferences. All right guys, so here's a roll off. Now, if you notice on the hook, I'm gonna start the hook up after, and then I'll show you how high my hook is compared to how high a roll-off is. Now, the good thing about a hook truck is that you can get, you don't have to have that height clearance. So if you're, um, we just did a, um, a dumpster over at the King of Prussia Mall, Sammy, mm -hmm. and we can take it off right away. Okay. You know, we didn't have to put tires underneath the dumpster. Cause what a lot of guys will do guys is they'll, they'll put tires underneath the dumpster or lift the dumpster up oh. so they can get back underneath it. You ever do that trick? Yeah, wood chips. Like, you I do got, wood? I, got, I put wood down. Sometimes I see tires, you know, no, to get them higher. I, that's why I carry wood. Sometimes I got I got to put wood between uh, underneath the tires. Or what I like to do, the best thing is, uh, you put wood right here. Uh, you and put a couple pieces of wood. You lift it up. So now that's the chassis. I call it. You lift up the chassis. And now your tires are not touching the not touching the the, the concrete or or the blacktop. And another thing too guys, the point I'm trying to make as well too and that's a good point Sammy that that's how you could protect your the wheels to get them off is you could before you put it on the ground, you could put wheels underneath. Now what I'm saying Sammy is I don't know if you ever did this, if you're if you're putting this underneath a, a overpass or something in the city, you could put some wood under here and lift it up. Yes. Sir. So you don't have to 
lift your gantry so high? Or the ceiling. Sometimes right, the right. The okay, ceiling. so you've done it before. I did it plenty of times. I don't know. I just, um, uh, uh, it's right. a lot of jobs in the city. And, uh, we don't do it that much. So. Uh, basically, the roofs are pretty low, so we got definitely... So you got to lift this up we so you don't have to lift that up so high. Lift that up and put some... Uh, a nice size plywood underneath that way uh, we can get back into it without hitting a sprinkler system and That's uh, a good, yeah, yeah 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 and sprinkler system uh, triggering off and we're talking about buildings with millions of dollars man so here i'm gonna go over some different key features of the roll off versus the uh the cable hoist so on the front when 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 the when the hoist goes down those lockers pop up and that keeps the dumpster from coming off on this particular truck, there's one cylinder, and that's the, the reeving cylinder. And that'll reeve the, the cable, and it'll, it'll run this ram, and that'll lengthen and shorten the, uh, the cable, and that's what pulls it onto the truck. This is the cylinders I'm talking about. That's a telescoping cylinder. You see how short they are? So it's really short. Um, some people like them. Some people don't like telescoper cylinders. Honestly, I don't know enough about it to give an honest opinion. This is the rollers um, that the dumpster rolls on. Battery, battery disconnect. Now, for them, they have customers obviously that want wood. Yes. We don't supply wood. Um, we always tell the customers that it's their responsibility. They got the required DOT stickers for reflection. Um, on this one, I like this a lot, guys. I was gonna put a lift, a lift axle on mine. This is a lift axle. I was gonna, um, get a lift axle put on the uh on our other peat but we never got around to it just didn't have the inclination we were going to do it just never did it i love it i love it go for the weight and uh for the ot uh they uh, recommend it a lot a lot of it the reason i wanted to have johnny come out was because i know how he keeps his trucks look like beautiful they're like always they look new there's an older one it is like this right all of his chassis is greased everything's operational everything looks beautiful they even touch up the paint when the dumpster comes up it'll ride up these rails and then as he puts it down then it'll start hitting all the wheels that's why this it only comes up to here because at that point once you come past your your um your 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 pivot joint here then you want it to you don't want to put your your hoist down before you get past to this because you can actually bend the tail if your dumpster is too heavy so you want to come up past here and then That's you could put your you got this and you measure it with that right you know. so when you come you past here right once you hit the, the second roller once you hit the second roller then you want to use your whole rail to bring it up I call that manhandling it on after you're on, but that's just a little pet name I have for it. And then here you have your tail, here you have your wheel, so when you're backing up or backing forward, you're not dragging it or you're not hurting a driveway. So this is just like a ro the roller for your dumpster. It does no damage to a driveway. Um, pretty much the, dump, the trucks are made not to hurt things. Um, just as long as that the drivers are, are, are doing what they should. So when you're working on the truck and you want to put up the, the, the um, hoist, you can put these down, they fall down and they go into this pocket that stops it so you can grease the chassis and work on your truck and you won't get that's a that's a safety safety uh so it doesn't come down if a if a line breaks or something it won't smash you here's the outside controls for his hoist and there's also inside controls and you could jump up there in a second now if you notice guys american roll off same company as pal finger american roll off and pal finger synonymous same thing on their Auto tarper, they have hydraulic, they don't have electric. We have electric over hydraulic. I like these better. There's some idiosyncrasies that I don't like about them. Like for instance, on ours, this actually this control box will freeze up. Uh, on, uh, yes, uh, in, when it gets cold. No, on the on the on the hydraulic. Oh yes, yes. Does yours freeze up too? Uh, the, not the lines. Yeah, yeah. We had them freeze up and then so there's a paint. We never had it on the electric. And so everything's hydraulic, guys. You can see um, everything's hydraulic on there with no electric. Um, the only thing electric would be if there's lights. And that's the center hydraulic control, guys, that the operator can operate while he's operating the truck. When you operate these trucks, guys, you have to turn on a PTO. What that does is it, it runs your, um, it's connected to your transmission. I don't think you can get a shot of it, Matt. This is it gonna be a tough one, isn't it? Maybe on the other side, maybe yours is easier. I had the same truck and yeah, let me look. All right, so I'm gonna put this up guys. Now, if you remember how high his gantry was, when, not the gantry, but the hoist when he was taking it off. Um, and that's how high this is gonna go. So that's the height you need. So I would say, what would you say, Sammy? 10 feet less maybe, give or take? The height of that truck 
Brian, have you ever, yeah, compared to those two? Mine's going more than 10 feet. Past that? Yes. Uh, Maybe 10 uh, feet. Yeah, no, no. Let's say 10 feet. I'll do a measurement. And so that's how you take it off. And then what happens is you would bring a dumpster on and it, it comes down and it's coming down. I don't know what the air, what that's doing. Maybe it's auto, I don't know. I'm new to this truck too, so. Now this is where it would be when you um, extend it. Now when you dump it, it goes in dump mode. I'll tell you what happens. Let me show you something, Matt. You see what's the difference? Did you notice the difference, Sam? Watch. I'll show you, come here. Now go ahead, Sammy, and pull it forward a little. See that? That's a, that unlocks, that turns it into dump mode. So go ahead, keep going, Sammy. Now watch, look, when you bring that forward, it unlocks it, or locks it, depending on how you want to look at it. Now when that is, goes to the end, stop. Now that's where it would be when you have a dump, when you have a dumpster on, this is where it would be. Now that, right? Now, when I, when I go into dump mode, look, the whole body's lifting up to dump it. You follow me? See that? Yeah, it unlocks it. It unlock. I call it unlock. So now watch, I'm gonna bring it in. Now, you're taking a dumpster off, see it's locked. Now when I go up, only it's, now it's in the takeoff mode. Now it's taking off a dumpster. You see the difference, the way the body is? Easy like that. So that's why you only need two controls. If you have this jib in, this is when you're taking it off. You can't take the you can't take the dumpster off with this jib out. Uh, you, right. You have to be in. That's for safety. So you have to pull it in, and you won't be able to take it off unless it's all the way in. And it won't unlock unless you're like three inches out. We did the measurements. It's like three inches. I'm gonna shut the truck off. So you you can't make a mistake and you can't take it off with this jib uh, extended because what'll happen you'll bend it okay so that's a safety feature for the t50 see it's built in safety feature and it's the way you do it it's just by design that's the way they're done and on these they have the two cylinders you have the one cylinder but on your other trucks you have two cylinders oh, no, yeah on the, the on the triaxle right so weight wise guys this is a T50, which is 50 tons, I believe. I think that's why they call it a T50. I say believe because I'm not the manufacturer and I don't want to say something that's incorrect. And they have, no, it's 50,000 pounds. I don't know if it's 50 tons or 50,000 pounds, but on this one, on their tri-axles, they're just as capable, if not more capable than the T50. The roll-offs are just as capable and some of his trucks are more capable than this. This may look to some people more powerful, more capable. It does two different things. Um, the way you get take dumpsters on and off is just completely different. Different, not better, it's just different. Different capabilities. Like Sammy, when I take this off, I could jackknife it in there. You know how when you take a dumpster off and you gotta push it in? No, I got I gotta track the trigger. Right, you have to, right, right. Jackknife this is it. I, right, I can jack, and then, and then also too, uh, another thing I've done, Sammy, is it, let's say there's a there's a car right in front of it. If I could get, I, I, I take them dumpsters over cars sometimes. Wow. I know, I could take the hook over the front of the car, hook it, and lift it over the car. I've had to do that when I do like kind of city, like fake city, like Pottstown, you know, not yeah. the big city, but the we small gotta, city. We gotta do, we gotta have. A uh, chain? No, uh, we got chains. Chain, right, drag it backwards. Uh, sometimes, you know, hook up to the back. Right. But uh, sometimes I just, if we got enough room, I say about uh, this much room, I don't know. I just back my hoist right into it. I'll, back, I'll lift up my boom all the way up, I'll back up, and I'll hook, I'll hook it up and I'll bring the boomer down and I'll make enough tension and I'll tractor it out. Like he said, there's always a way, there's always a way to skin the cat. It's just different. It's not better, it's not worse, it's different. I've grown to like the hook trucks the way I operate them with, my, just, just different. It's not better, it's not worse. It's just the way, what I like. Different methods. That's it, there's different methods. Um, I, and, and you know what's funny? I have the smaller, um, hook truck which i really like you still got it i still have it and then i have the roll off which now me and matt are doing some videos in 
and then I got into this big duty, this heavy, heavy, this is my first heavy, heavy duty hook truck. And I'll be honest, it's it's a little cumbersome to get used to. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Remember, look how tall I am. Right. It's and tall. it's 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 not as easy. Like my other truck is like a pickup truck. This is like a real truck, so to put it. Yeah. I'll pop my trunk. Or hood. Your hood, pop your hood. We call it the bonnet in, in, in Europe or, or, or in England. So it is a 15 liter um, turbo. Here's the turbo right here. And here's the 15 liter if you want to show the other side. This has, this one has one dumpster on and off of it so far. So we've only done one dumpster. Sammy's probably did thousands. Well, well, <laughs> so we have this, this truck has only delivered one dumpster so far. And there's the, there's a, the uh, anniversary edition, 15 liter, the red engine. That's the one that, that's the, that's the, that's the Jimmy Jam right there. And then on this engine, I'm, I'm believing it's the same engine I have. It's a nine liter, um, same manufacturer, different badges. That's a pack car, that's a Cummings engine. And I'm not a real engine guy, guys. I know a little bit about them. I know they cost a lot of money to fix and nice and clean. Um, Tri-State does a good job keeping their stuff nice and clean. They probably power wash it every week for them. Yeah. You know, Sammy, you know what happened to us? Yeah, look. They, they ripped. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah. you, you, you did got, it too, right? You can't uh, slam it. You can't slam it. You I know. You gotta come with it. I learned the hard, I learned the hard way. My other truck is, my other truck is. Uh, yeah, no, that's what the guys got to come down and boom. Hey guys, let me show you what we and Sammy are talking about. If you notice, up on the latches up there, where, where see this pocket right here, Matt, right here, guys. When, and then that matches up to the hood up there. There's the latch right there, guys. They could break if you if you shut your hood too much. No, so you know, if you uh, you slam let, the hood, let it slam, or if you drive, if you move the vehicle with this hood open and and it starts bouncing, you don't want that. That's Maybe that's what we did. I don't know what happened. No, Ours you're, cracked. You're, you're Ours cracked to, horrible. You're supposed to drive with it down. Ours cracked horrible. So there's the two different uh, engines, guys. Um, there's the dip, there's the major differences between a cable and a roll-off. Um, hopefully we answered some questions. I don't know if there's, is there anything else you could think of, Sammy, that we should go over? No, you know on this, the, you know on this one, this guy's here, just so you know, this is the real exhaust tank stack. The other one's a fake one. They put it on there just because people want them. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's just an addition. It's just, yeah, 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 look deep. it's look fake. Deep. It's just, if you go, if you look underneath, yeah, one it goes one. nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just, it's That's just fun. for, yeah, it's just for fun. They got an extra stack. I, I particularly don't want it because it's in my way when, oh, it, look, when hey, it's, look. visually, I can't see anything. Oh, Check it out. On this one, I got the camera here. And the reason I have the camera here is because the exhaust stacks are in the way and I can't see the hook. I can't see when the hook connects to the to the dumpster. So I had to put the camera, this, I need this camera, yeah. but the other camera is just to for temporary. Is, uh, to right. We're leaving roll-offs. They're always gonna be running roll-offs probably. I'm gonna, I'm changing over to all hook trucks just because that's the way in the direction we're going. Um, I just like them better. Tri-State loves the roll-offs. I like the roll-offs. Honestly, they're strong. They're workhorses. They've been around forever. That it's just people love them, and we're just going to we're just going to hooks. Uh -huh. Just just what we're doing. I always wanted to go to hooks ever since I started the first day. I it's just it's just preference. You feel more that's all. That's that's the whole. That's it. Whole it's really thing. that's all it is. That's all it is. If you feel comfortable with it, you go with it, and uh, that's all, all. Honestly, Sam, that's all it is. It, it's just how I feel about it. It's yeah. just a comfort factor. It's always good to stick with one roll off. Never know. No, we're going to keep a roll off for, uh, for another year. We're going to keep them. We're going to keep one more as kind of like a backup truck. Yeah, it's windy out today. We're going to shut the hoods. We're going to get out of here. It's cold. I hope guys, the wind wasn't too bad. We just wanted to show you the differences side by side on, on, on the differences. And we're probably going to do another one when you have a triaxle. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to do another one.